It is January right now. We are in the middle of winter. January is the coldest month in the Bay Area. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. Let's check out how the cherry tomato plant doing. I can see some tomatoes already fallen to the ground. There are some already ripe. We can see from those orange tomatoes. I also have the red one, but unfortunately it dies. So, when the fruit ripen, they turn from green to orange. It is easy to spot those ripe one to pick. Not bad. Not bad at all. Considering this is winter, tomatoes aren't supposed to produce during this time. Let's see. There are still flowers, which mean they will produce more tomatoes soon. I can't believe this. All I did, put market umbrella on top of this raised bed area and cover the sides with plastic. I guess doing so, keep the temperature much warmer and protect the plants from frost, rain and windy weather. Good to know this. Next year, I should build a better cover so I can continue growing all sort of different vegetables and fruits during winter. Also, this is south-facing area of the garden. So, during sunny winter days, the area will be quite warm to give plants extended growing season. Oh wow! I can see more and more flowers. Awesome! Apparently, these flowers do not need wind for pollination in closed space. I guess they self-pollinate to set fruits. Enough talking. Let's start harvesting the tomatoes. It is freezing cold here. I'm getting hungry looking at these cherry tomatoes. I want to start tasting some of these soon. They are so easy to pluck out of the branches. Maybe they ripe enough. It just the right timing to harvest them before they fall to the ground and get spoiled. They seems to grow in cluster with different level of ripeness. That's okay. The slightly green one should still be tasty. Okay, I just tried to eat one of them. The taste is so sweet with a bit tangy flavor. Savory is the best to describe them. Full of flavors. Definitely taste much better than tomatoes bought from supermarket. Plus, I feel proud from growing this myself. What a beauty! Can you see those bright orange color? They are so pretty delicious! If you ask me what fertilizer I used for this plant, I will say that I used time-released fertilizer called Oscomote. I then supplement it with liquid fertilizer from miracle Grow every two weeks. Once a month, I also apply fish fertilizer from Alaska brand. Hold on. Let me taste this beauty. Yum. Yummy. It is delicious and healthy snack. I remember during summer, these cherry tomatoes plants and other plants were attacked by spider mites. That's why I lost the red color one. Later, I figured out the best way to combat spider mites is to spray them with neem oil. 
Okay, this looked like a good enough harvest for a snack. Wait a minute, before we go, we should harvest these shishito peppers too. These are good peppers for grilling. They are all right. Well, maybe over ripen because usually I harvest them while still green. There are more on this side to harvest. That's look good. Nice orange and red color and flavor to add to any dishes. I will just harvest all of them. Even the green one for cooking later. The green one seem a bit tough to pull. Nice color palette. This one is still green. I will just wait for the next harvest time. Yep. There are still a lot of green one. Now, I will pick the one on the ground. Those look like the one dropped when I touched the branches. Well, that one spoil already. This should be good for today. What do you think? Those other tropical fruits plants look happy surviving in the area. Manila mango, pink guava, star fruit, likey, and longan. I can't wait for spring to arrive so I can bring them out to start growing again. Hey. It looks like I missed picking this bell peppers. It is ripe already from its red color. But it looks like the bottom part starts to spoil. Oh well. I will see if this goes to compost pile. Alright, that's it folks. I hope you enjoy watching my harvesting cherry tomatoes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I plan to make video of my spring planting preparation. Until next time. Have a good day.